Hello, my name is Xiao Wencao. I am a professor in Stakey Lab of Advanced Technology for Material Synthesis and Processing at Wuhan University of Technology. The co-author of this perspective is Professor Jia Guoyu in my same institute. It is our great honor to publish this perspective entitled Graphitic Carbon Nitride-Based Photocatalyst for Hydrogen Generation in Gypsy Letters. As we know, the global energy shortage and the environmental problems are becoming more and more serious. It is urgent to find efficient and sustainable solutions to these issues. The semiconductor-based photocatalytic hydrogen production from water splitting is now considered as a potential and promising strategy to obtain clean and renewable energy because this kind of strategy only uses sunlight and water as sources and a semiconductor photocatalyst. The graphitic carbon nitride is a good optional semiconductor because it is only composed by the Earth's abundant elements, carbon and nitride and can absorb visible light to drive the overall water splitting. It is easy to be prepared and has high thermal and chemical stability. So, the next thing is to improve the, its photocatalytic performance by rational methods. In this perspective, we will see the visible light photocatalytic hydrogen generation of carbon nitride can be largely enhanced by nanostructure design, band gap engineering, heterojunction construction, and so on. These strategies can provide graphitic carbon nitride with abundant surface states, extended light harvesting and improved charge separation. All of them are beneficial for the photocatalytic hydrogen generation. For example, the hollow spheres of carbon nitride with the sealed sides can trap more light by inner reflections. This can produce more photo-induced charge carriers and further to enhance the photocatalytic hydrogen production efficiency. It is also found the in-situ iodine doping can extend the aromatic heterocycle of carbon nitride and generate impurity energy levels above the valence band age. This can result in an extending light absorption up to 600 nanometers, thus to enhance the photocatalytic hydrogen performance. Another example is that in the heterojunction of carbon sulfide and carbon nitride, the band gap alignment can drive the electrons to transfer from the conduction band of carbon nitride to the conduction band of cadmium sulfide. At the same time, to transfer the corrosive holes from the valence band of cadmium sulfide to the valence band of carbon nitride. This, car this charge carrier redistribution can effectively promote the charge separation and reinforce the stability of cadmium sulfide. As a result, a much higher hydrogen, hydrogen evolution rate on the visible light irradiation can be obtained. However, further efforts are still required to advance the use of carbon nitride for visible light photocatalytic hydrogen generation, including surface activation, the combination of different modification strategies, and the understanding of the surface interface processes. But Undoubtedly, there is an exciting and brightening future for the graphitic carbon nitride-based photocatalyst. We believe that the current work will appeal to the readers from the fields of physical chemistry, chemical physics, and material science, and so on. But of course, the JPC letters will provide us a lot of opportunities to broaden the horizons in different research areas. Thank you very much.